Hi, my name is Kat. I'm a California CPA and in this video I'll show you how to enter a depreciation in Lacert. Let's start. All right, so we have example here. It's an individual tax return and I would like to show you how to enter depreciation. We can do it manually or we can do it using the import uh, option. So I'll show you how to use the um, import option. So what do we do? We go to client import uh, let's see client import and here we have fixed assets import so we can just choose let's say it's for schedule C it is asking us to choose um, Excel file so I just chose the random one and here we can choose like let's say a description of the property we can choose a category date um, uh, date, place, and service, so all the information we need to enter. Uh, so I don't have the file prepared, but we can just choose. So what I would do, I would just create Excel file and I have columns like this and just kind of like enter it or maybe client would send it to you so it's easier to restore it. So that's a great function and that can save lots of time. Otherwise, there's always a manual way to do it. So if you go to uh, section 22, depreciation, so here we, where all the depreciation information enters. So we, what we do, we start with a description of the property, then it's asking us what form it should go on. So in my example, it goes under Schedule F, which is farming income, but it can also we can choose Schedule C or rental or whichever we need to use. Also business use of home goes here as well. So, and then we choose activity name. If you have a couple schedules, we choose category here, which is, it goes, like it has like lots of categories. So for example, for uh, this one, this is a car, I choose auto, we choose date of place and service, cost, method, which is really awesome. It has like, they have many, and it's really easy to uh, follow because it just kind of like, it has a really good explanation right here. And here we have prior year depreciation or prior year section 179. Interesting things that I would like to show is, let's see what it has. What is interesting in here? Cost, we have the prior depreciation. We can enter AMT depreciation here as well. Um, interesting thing is if you do a uh, sell the item that's where we do we can enter a sale uh, disposition so for example here general disposition information so if the asset was sold that's where we enter date when it was uh, disposed um, expenses on how, how much like uh, the expense of sale and things like that so that's one of the way here's below we do enter a sales price. So it depends what kind of asset it was sold. It obviously goes on different forms. So if it's supposed to go here, which is most of the time, that's where assets, sale of asset go, we just enter sales price um, and that will calculate everything for us. It will make sure it will add up the prior year depreciation as an adjustment. So it's, it's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, and also, sale of home actually goes here as well if you sold the house we also entered under depreciation schedules with a basis we enter for how much they sold it somewhere here if they met this sale of home um sale sale of home if it's sale of home <laughs> if they met this two years rule and things like that so that's where we entered here so depreciation schedule is pretty easy um, it's really to, it's really easy to assign to different forms. It's really easy to change things up, uh, to enter prior year information. And obviously under forms, it goes under, we have depreciation schedule and that's where all these things will show up eventually. And we can double check if our entry is correct. I hope you found my video helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and what I do, please go to my website remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel. It means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.